My name is Elinid Parrott and I'm the Welsh Liberal Democrat candidate for Cardiff Central and South Wales Central. I've called for a moratorium on uh, fracking in Wales because I'm not convinced by uh, the safety element of it, but actually you're absolutely right that we should be moving away from fossil fuels. At the end of the day, it's another fossil fuel with a limited lifespan. We'd like to um, see uh, Wales move away from fossil fuels and set ourselves really um, ambitious carbon targets. Um, in terms of whether or not we should uh, you know, completely do away with uh, coal mining, um, that one's a little bit more difficult. Um, things like coke, for example, are an ingredient in the steel making process, and so there will need to be an element of that. But we want to set ourselves, um, as I say, ambitious targets. For example, we believe that all of our energy should come from renewable sources by 2025. Um, as I say, we have a, a target which is slightly even more ambitious than uh, Friends of the Earth on this one. But we think that it's um, uh, achievable to be getting our, renew uh, our energy from renewable sources by 2025. And we need to see um, uh, big improvements in the um, small-scale renewable sector. So we want to encourage community ownership and community-driven uh, um, energy projects. Um, we believe that it's possible to build houses of the future that require less energy to run them in the first place, but can actually generate energy whilst they're uh, sitting there too. Um, and we've seen projects, for example, from Cardiff University, where they have an energy positive house, a, a house that actually generates more than it uses. Those are fantastic opportunities, but there are a couple of you know, key infrastructure things that we need to do. And the Swansea Bay Tidal Lagoon, I think, is critical to the future of Wales in lots of different ways. But the biggest way, of course, is the, the potential it has for creating clean energy uh, for future generations um, from the, the water that surrounds us every day. I think that the, the most important thing we need to do to tackle all kinds of wastes is to work with the supermarkets because it's the behaviour of the supermarkets and the way that they package foods that uh, drives not only food waste but actually all different kinds of uh, waste. So you find yourself, if you want to buy some fruit, you have to buy a pack of uh, bananas or a pack of grapes. You can't buy just what you need. Not only does that mean that you have lots of recycling waste, but it means that you then have lots of food waste if you're single, for example, and you don't want to use food in that kind of volumes. So we need to change the way that our supermarkets operate um, and some of the ways in which we can help drive that um, from, um, from the Welsh Government would be to harmonise uh, things like uh, recycling rules and harmonise regulation across local authorities because if we are managing our waste in the same way from place to place then it's much easier on a national basis for us to work with those supermarkets and say no, actually this is what we expect from you. We expect you to be reducing the amount of um, packaging you use and giving people more options for buying in smaller quantities if that's what they really want to do so. We absolutely want to see an increase in the amount of community energy generation. Um, one of the, you know, the great tragedies really of renewable energy in Wales is uh, some of the difficulties we've had um, with bringing communities on board with, um, with uh, renewable energy projects, for example, such as wind farms. We've had lots of resistance from the public in some parts of Wales. And I think so much of that is because the communities feel that these things were done to them, not with them and for them and um, from them, if you see what I mean. We want to, um, to set up some uh, grant schemes to encourage local communities to set up their own um, generation uh, schemes. And we want to work with some of the, the bigger providers, things like the Swansea Bay Tidal Lagoon, where they're selling shares to local people so that local people feel that they have an ownership of this. Um, but as I say, the, the, the really big challenge is to make sure that we're breaking things down, um, not only having... Um, these, these big, big projects and big, large-scale wind farms, actually we need to be breaking this down so that um, we see every house as a potential power station. Every, every house, every farm, every business has the potential to be generating energy. Um, and we need to be, um, as I say, giving people incentives to do that, um, to encourage us. Um, we have uh, said actually this is in many ways about housing and homes and we've made um, our number one infrastructure project 
um, building new affordable homes, but those homes have to be um, you know, efficient, they have to be homes that don't trap people in fuel poverty, and one of the great challenges we have with our housing stock is that it is so inefficient. We want to broaden the current uh, nest scheme that we have that uh, helps us to retrofit some of those properties, but what we would also like to see is uh, some incentivization for landlords in private rental homes to be improving um, the energy efficiency of those properties because actually it's in the private rental sector where we have some of the most difficult problems and the most persisting problems. Um, if you look around you in places like Cardiff, we have very old housing. It was not built um, with energy efficiency in mind. Um, retrofitting those properties will be expensive, but it is an investment um, that will reap rewards in the long term and it must be made. Um, I want to see uh, um, a greenhouse gas um, free zone in Wales. I want to see a zero target um, for greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. I think if we set ourselves the ultimate ambition um, then we'll start to make progress but if we hedge our bets um, then unfortunately I think that people will slip and slide away from uh, that ultimate aim. Make sure where people go to, to, to recharge their batteries. If you're not in touch with the natural world, um, then um, I think it's, it's bad for your well-being. And you know, I love to take my children out walking. I love walking. Um, I was born in Abergavenny. Um, to, there is no freedom, no joy, no pleasure uh, like taking to the hills and to breathe that fresh air and to see those beautiful surroundings. We all as human beings need connection to the natural world or I think that we, we lose something um, that's important that really to us as a society.